Hello, Internet. Welcome back to another edition of Eric's Corner with the word of the not so wise. I uh, hope you've been staying with me for a while and I hope you stick around because this is my 100th uh, episode that I've done. Uh, started in early September uh, pumping out videos and I hope you've liked my content. So this video, I was going to do something like really cool, but I couldn't think of anything. So I kind of got to keep moving forward. Um, but I talk about Joe Rogan who I'm a pretty big fan of. Uh, I've known who Joe Rogan was for a lot of years. You know, I grew up in a small town in Alaska and you know, we had four channels, but we had Fear Factor, knew who the Fear Factor guy was. And when UFC became popular, I was going, why is the Fear Factor guy commentating this? Well, I didn't realize he's a martial artist and has black belts in like four different martial arts, which is freaking cool. Um, he has a kick that uh, is supposedly one of the most powerful um, of the athletes and maybe it's, it's probably uh, by his weight I would imagine. Um, I also think it's it's quite incredible that his uh, podcast has 13 times the viewership of CNN. I mean anybody stuck with me you know how I feel about media and, and they're just a full of a bunch of bullshit and you knew they were lying when Joe had a couple of doctors on that were saying that the COVID-19 thing was a complete overreaction. Um, and he, I love how he came back with, well, it's not, you don't get rid of me, do a better job of doing your job. And I mean, that, that's just such an incredible difference. I mean, not double, not triple, not five or 10 times, 13 times the viewership of CNN. So I hope they go out of business. I mean, all they do is lie and bullshit us one time after another. And for some reason we keep staying tuned. Um, a couple of, uh, you know, I don't just watch it uh, straight through. I, I need to start. I kind of catch the highlights like most most people with that kind of content. But um, Adam from Adam Ruins Everything was on his show. And uh, <clears throat> I really liked Adam Ruins Everything. I thought it was, it was extremely factual and did a very good job of debunking <clears throat> really good uh, marketing uh, campaigns. Uh, you know, uh, uh, De Beers with diamonds and, you know, puppy mills and uh, this, that, and the other thing, but man, as a person, I mean, I caught a clip and I was like, okay, maybe it's just a clip, but I caught a couple more. And I mean, he's all, he's all on board with, oh yeah, we need a gender reassignment surgery for kids. And Joe said, well, if a little boy thinks he's a girl, just say, okay, you're a girl. Now, why do we need to give them, give them hormones? He already thinks he's a girl. Okay, fine. Just, just leave it at that. And he looked at him like he never thought of it. And I, I just think it's awfully strange. Like, okay, if having a penis and testicles doesn't make me a boy, then how does removing them make me a girl? I mean, maybe nobody ever said that you changed a dog's sex by cutting his balls off, which, you know, that's kind of the, the, the buzz philosophy that I've been hearing. And I agree. I think it, it makes a lot of sense. But yeah, I mean, he's had all kinds of, of really good, uh, really good guests on his show. I would like to try to interview people how he does. Like he just does a really good job of disagreeing without getting real confrontational and I'm not fantastic at it. Um, and it's all, all things take practice, but he definitely has lost his shit at times, but it's amazing. Big media taken down by some stoner jock, you know, the fear factor guy. But anyway, I think, I think he's, uh, got some, uh, really good perspective on things. I love his stand up. It's, it's, it's had me absolutely ball and laughing here a few times. Um, but, uh, I, yeah, I mean, I'd love to have him on my show. I mean, he's always inviting people on his show, but I mean, he doesn't really seem to go on other people's shows that often. So Joe, if you hear this and you want to come to Alaska and hang out, then I mean, that'd be absolutely fantastic. I also thought it was kind of funny because when I was learning about him, I, because somebody asked what happened to Carlos Mencia and I, I liked his show. It was funny. It, was, it seemed good humor and good taste, kind of making fun of white people and Mexicans and okay, just kind of, you know, don't be too harsh, but you know, kind of keep everybody's a, a viewpoints of their ethnicity kind of in check. Like, okay, I kind of got to take this one on the chin. You know, us white people have, have done some things, you know, or, or whatever the case. But, um, when I started looking into it, cause uh, he accused him of plagiarism, uh, Joe Rogan did. And well, guess what? Uh, he did it like on a stage at some festival and, uh, Carlos Mencia, you know, rebuttaling, Oh, you're a bitch. You're a bitch. I'll kick your ass. Like, dude, Joe Rogan will fuck you up, dude. I don't know. I don't know how on earth you don't realize what his martial art accolades are, but holy, holy Jesus, he'd just wreck you. And I don't know how he didn't, they ended up, didn't go and at it, but definitely look up that video. It was uh, quite entertaining. 
but um, has some pretty good uh, stand. You know, family man's got three daughters, which I, I think it's funny when anybody, I think it's funny when anybody ends up with all of one gender of offspring. I myself got, you know, four boys. So, I mean, I'm not quite sure. I either did something very right or very wrong in the past that I haven't been granted a daughter. So, um, but yeah, I mean, he's got a great show. Uh, I'd, uh, you know, like I said, I'd like to kind of model what my interviews and, you know, if I ever do any that aren't talking about Bristol Bay, model my interviewing style after what he has going on. And, uh, so anyway, yeah, that's it for my hundredth episode. I'm probably missing some things that I wanted to talk about, but that's every single one of them and we'll, we'll see how it goes. So thank you for joining me. Hope to see you again. And thank you for watching my 100th episode. Have a good day.